I'm glad you're all here because today is our fall festival. So it's a big celebration today. We're gonna celebrate Dia de los Muertos, which means Day of the Dead. We're gonna celebrate Halloween. We're gonna celebrate All Saints Day. And today's Ruth's birthday. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so we kinda have a lot to celebrate today. But I'm wondering, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Um, Kit Kats. Kit Kat, those are really good. You have one, Riley? Uh, no. No, that's okay. What about you, Ruth? Uh, Twix. Twix. The left or the right? Mm, <laughs> right, right Twix. Okay. Oh, I'm going with Twix as well, okay. but the left Twix. The left, okay. <laughs> I think the left are pretty good. Um, Sour Patch Kids. Oh, those are really good. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Okay. Twix. Twix also? A lot of Twix. Okay, I wish um, Halloween candy had Kinder chocolate. Have you had that before? Yeah, those are, uh, yeah, those are really good. So today for our celebration, we are gonna learn how to draw sugar skulls. Yeah, and we'll learn a lot more about Dia de los Muertos during church school today, but we'll also learn how to make papel picado, which are these really fun decorations. So today in our celebration, we are going to remember and celebrate people or animals in our lives who might have passed away. So, yeah, animals too. You mean wild animals? Sure, yeah. Some animals you could think about, maybe animals that have gone extinct or wild animals that have passed oh, away. Megalodon. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And we'll remember and celebrate them. So we might feel happy today, and we might also feel a little bit sad when we think about these people who have passed away. But when we remember and celebrate people, we keep them in our lives, and we stay connected with them. So we'll also celebrate God's love, because we are all loved by God, even when we pass away. So Frank is going to pray for us, and then we'll go to church school. Okay. Well, since today is the day of the, of the dead to celebrate our saints, I brought a picture of my grandparents, and you can pass that around. And I am so happy and so proud of my grandparents because, oh, probably 200 years ago, they got on a boat from what they called the old country, which is Europe, and sailed across the sea to America and came here and settled down and because of them, I'm here. So I am so happy and so proud of them. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for our relatives. Thank you for their kindness and for their being proud and for them taking risks and making the life that we live today. Amen. <laughs> 